We're anticipating in excess of 70 pump stations in order to be able to manage the uh, stormwater in our streets and to keep uh, flooding uh, control. A pump station is doing nothing but basically giving us elevation. It's lifting the water from what elevation is now in the below ground to some point high enough that it can flow then to the bay. The project itself consists of three pump stations. This is the uh, pump station number one to be completed. Uh, today we're lowering the pumps and shortly at the end of this month they will be started. Once we turn those on on October 1st, those are going to help with the flooding that's taking place out on West Avenue. Water will be taken from West Avenue, pumped through the pumps all the way to the wet well where you see everyone standing back behind us and uh, from there it'll be discharged out into the bay. This, the project's been in acceleration since the start, so usually you'd, you'd look at a, like a year in design. We're going to have this whole thing designed and constructed and about, I think it ended up taking maybe four months, five months. Each pump pumps approximately 14,000 gallons per minute. The danger will be in the future when the sea levels come to a certain level that the water will actually become vertically up from below and flooding us. We all agree that sea level is rising. We know it's rising at some rate and we have a lot of different uh, authorities in the world looking and having different estimates on that. This problem will not be solved by one person. It will take a collective knowledge of a whole city to be able to, able to solve this problem. The technical aspects of, say, moving the water right now with the pumps is pretty uh, straightforward. It's a proven technology throughout the world. The concept of rising groundwater is a much more complicated uh, aspect, and that's my biggest challenge. Then the Caribbean and the many of the areas that we have, coastal areas where we see similar type formations, they're looking to us. A lot of the coastline of the east coast uh, of the United States is looking at us, and it may vary and change as you go north, but they're also looking at our approach of how do you do this? What do you do first? What do you do next? We're the precursor of what's to come, because we're so low, we see it first. 